Hi. If the boot configuration data file, BCD, is corrupted, you'll get this error message. And this error won't let you go to the built-in recovery tools. In this case, you have to have Windows installation media, either on DVD or USB. If you don't have it, it's okay. There is a link in the description below about how to get Windows installation for free. Once you have your Windows installation media on DVD or USB, try to boot from it. Press any key. Select your language. Click Next. Click on Repair your computer. Click Troubleshoot. Advanced options and open command prompt. Now type Explorer. This command will show a window to help us to navigate graphically through the partitions. Look for System Reserved Partition. Open it. Go to Boot Folder. Scroll down and search for BCD file. So, this file causing this trouble. I will not delete it. I will just rename it to anything. Because if this process won't work for you, you can go back and rename it to BCD. I will add .old at the end. So this file is useless now and the system will ignore it. Now let's create new fresh one. Back to the command prompt, type boot rec space forward slash rebuild bcd press enter this tool will search for windows installation and list it so you can confirm that this is your windows directory by typing yes and press enter now type explorer press enter as you can see my windows located in d partition Let's go back to the system reserved partition. Boot folder. And here is it. The new BCD file has been created. Remember, you have your old BCD file. So, if this process won't work for your issue, you can rename bcd.old to bcd again. Type bcd edit space forward slash enum space all press enter this command will show all the bootable records and the identifier with default value it's the boot record for windows type exit click continue You may have automatic repair launched automatically after changing BCD file. This process will check for any corrupted files and try to fix them. But eventually, it won't find anything to fix. That's because I've fixed it already. Just click restart. So, I've reached the end of this tutorial. Your feedback is important to me, so please, make sure to tell me what will happen with you. Thanks for watching.